For the second straight weekend, protesters marched in the streets of Waco, calling for racial equality after the death of George Floyd. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Eliza Navarro. The group held a two hour rally on the banks of the Brazos before marching to the McLennan County Courthouse. During the march, protesters took a knee at the corner of Austin and Fifth Avenue for a little more than eight minutes. The same amount of time a Minnesota officer had a knee on Floyd's neck before he died. Protest organizers said this rally was geared more toward education and pointing out opportunities for Central Texans to serve the African American community. They said this is still the beginning of what they hope is a long movement. We're going to continue doing this and we're going to continue chanting. Yes, I'm losing my voice, but I'm going to continue doing it. Even if I lose my voice, I will have a sign up, you know, saying what I have to say and I'm still going to be here. Organizers say they plan to hold more rallies in the coming weeks as they continue to push for social justice. Protests are not just taking place throughout the country. They are beginning to happen throughout the world. Thousands of people filled the streets in Sydney, Australia. The demonstrators were peacefully protesting racial injustice despite threats of arrest and fines, as well as also putting themselves at risk of catching COVID-19. Our um, rates of the virus are so low and I'd be here anyway. This is not just a racial issue, it's a human rights issue. At one point, the demonstrators in the symbol of solidarity with George Floyd took a knee. In Germany, some 15,000 people protested against police brutality. You can see people with signs and posters supporting the Black Lives Matter movement. And the City of Love also demanding equality. Protesters in Paris carried signs reading justice for George Floyd and racism is also a pandemic and chanted being born black is not a crime.